Trinity Maths, Vectors Foundation. This is our destination. How do we get there? Close the Excel file. From Trinity Maths, select Geometry, Open, Vectors Foundation. This is a macros enabled Excel spreadsheet and I'm looking for draw and evaluate a resultant vector PA plus QB by linear combination. This is an interactive diagram representing two vectors A and B on a lattice grid or centimeter squared paper if you prefer. They are shown in geometric form and they can also be written in column vector form. I have dynamic control of the blue vector A and the red vector B and the scalar multiples of each vector P and Q which I can increase or decrease. We were given starting conditions but I'm going to reset the screen and create different vectors and scalar multiples. The blue vector A is two units left and one unit up and the red vector B is three units left and two units down and the value of P is 2 and Q is minus 3. Now I'm going to ask my pupils can you draw and evaluate the resultant vector 2a subtract 3b by algebraic and geometric methods. Let's perform the calculation first to find the resultant vector in column vector form. First write down a and b in column vector form. a is minus 2 1 and b is minus 3 minus 2. My next line of working evaluates the resultant vector 2a subtract 3b within a single pair of brackets. The new blue values are two times or double each original blue value and the new red values are three times or triple each original red value and I place a subtract sign in between. Our skills working with directed numbers are needed now to evaluate minus 4 subtract minus 9 as minus 4 plus 9 which equals 5 evaluate 2 subtract minus 6 as 2 plus 6 which equals 8 so the resultant vector is 5 8 to consolidate our pupils understanding of resultant vectors let's draw a geometric representation of these vectors in the space available on the grid. The starting point for my resultant vector is this purple point. I can relocate it but I've planned this task carefully and know it's a good place to begin. So 2a or two lots of vector a from the start point looks like this and I've added an appropriate vector label and minus 3b or minus 3 lots of vector b from the end point of 2a looks like this and again I've added an appropriate vector label. Note if it were 3b and not minus 3b it would be going in this direction southwest but because it's minus 3b it goes in the opposite direction northeast as shown. So the resultant vector is this purple line starting from the purple point to the end point of the sum of the two scalar multiples of vectors A and B and again I've added an appropriate vector label. For further work using this activity we could create a different vector A Or a different vector B or different scalar multiples for P 
or Q.